Opening any kind of restaurant is hard work, but just imagine the challenge of opening an Italian eatery in a city named Paris. Well, Ken Wilshire found a family in that West Tennessee town famous for catfish that now successfully shares their passion for pasta dishes. Imagine you're strolling down the streets of Paris in the shadows of the Eiffel Tower, and you're looking for a little French bistro. Well, forget it. You see, here in Paris, Tennessee, the only thing called French are the fries that accompany the hush puppies literally tons of catfish served up in this community every year. But if you look closely on this busy street, there's a quaint little place that used to be a fast food restaurant. We started in here and did a little bit of remodeling on the building and cleaned it up and painted and stuff, and then we just hired help and started to work. It's now called the Olive Pit, and it's certainly not French, nor is it fast food. Instead, customers will find some of the finest Italian cuisine in this part of catfish country. When we met, the one thing we had in common was a pasta cabinet at home. We both loved pasta. Pancetta with chicken and a fed out shrimp. The Olive Pit is the creation of Mark and Carmen Watkins. I mean, taking a risk on an Italian restaurant in a city named Paris also known for having the world's largest catfish fry every year. Well, it took some courage. Well, it was mine and our wife's favorite type of food, you know, and it was something that we thought we'd be good at. We didn't know anything about the restaurant business, but we thought we'd have good food at least, you know. It seemed a little unnatural for us to do anything besides pasta. And we felt like there might be a, a need for that kind of thing in the area because there was a lot of catfish. There weren't any French restaurants, but he can make a pretty mean French meal. He just doesn't serve it here. In addition to the risk they took, Mark and Carmen also needed restaurant experience since they had none. So they brainstormed with their newly hired employees and developed a plan for success. Charlie and Jamie were here from day one. So the food has been really good and uh, I like to think our customer service is really, really good too. But yeah, here in Paris, everybody loves this place because it's something different. The Olive Pit is a family owned business and its small size just adds to the invitingly warm, cozy ambiance. From the local art that decorates the walls to the soft mood setting music. I want it to be warm and inviting. You're just a place that kids could come and, and uh, feel just as comfortable and welcome as, uh, as the adults. It turned out to be, you know, a slightly upscale, I guess, maybe for the area. It's like you might find in an intimate trattoria in a neighborhood in Italy. But here in Paris, they simply call it a pasta house. We started out like a traditional Italian restaurant, and um, we served things that we felt like were traditional, and then we just got outside that box. We serve pasta just about any way that anyone can imagine. We um, try to spice things up different ways. But first, customers are welcomed with big smiles, as well as the tantalizing aromas of pastas, pizzas, pancetta, and parmesan being prepared for the daily fare. They have a huge menu, but it's just the beginning. We're not what you call an Italian restaurant, you know, it's a pasta place. It, it's, we have stuff from Cajun to Italian to everything else, you know. Uh, we also have another 150 dishes or so that are not on the menu that we use as specials. We rotate in and out at night, so, you know, we have some mussel dishes and some clam dishes and uh, we brag on our ribeye steak. We have a lot on the menu that you won't get here in Paris. You would have to go to a larger area, you know. And to complete the Olive Pit dining experience, Mark and Carmen make it simple. You'll find Tennessee cheesecake, cannoli, chocolate spoon cake, and the traditional Italian tiramisu. Still, their family-like staff are proudest of the exceptional care they give their customers, from greeting and seating to serving and a friendly chow when they leave. But when the Olive Pit opened, they say their service really was the pits. For the first, you know, little while, we had to give so much food away just to make people happy. They, they loved the food, but our service was terrible. And um, our, you know, our systems were terrible. We, we didn't have any. So, but over a period of time, you know, we kind of pulled ourselves up 
out of the heap of crisis that we were in and people came back. We all gave her feedback and we all just chose what to do and if it didn't work we went to plan B and so it went really good. The first month was a little iffy. Uh, I just try to keep the standards up and our policies in order and make sure every, everything's working all right. I worked here around the clock just about for the first year or two you know and of course now it's slacked off a lot where you know you know more about what you're doing so you don't have to spend so much time and we've always been so lucky to have really really good staff here. The Olive Pit truly is a family venture, present and future. It's a social gathering spot for the community with a taste of Italy. And just like there, food, family and friends are integral parts of the Italian culture. And their key to success is quite simple. The key is just continuing to stay open-minded. Yeah. Listen to what people are saying and keep trying to do the things that make people happy. And Parisians here certainly are happy about their worldwide recognition for celebrating a true Southern American delicacy. Just like Mark, Carmen, and the Olive Pit and Foy family are proud of their success in adding another international flavor to this city called Paris. <laughs>